Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm really excited to do. It is going to be a full face using your drugstore recommendations. So I asked recently on my Instagram, which is a March Beauty Word, I asked what you have been loving from the drugstore right now or what you want to see me try out. And then I was able to pick up a bunch of different products. I have some brands in here that I've never tried before. I have some new products that are available now at the drugstore. And I'm really excited to show you how I got this look right here because I'm really enjoying it and it is super affordable. Before we get started though, I did also want to say that there is a sponsor on today's video and thank you so much to NYX Professional Makeup for sponsoring this one. I am going to be showing you their Fill and Fluff Brow Pencil. I've been using this one for a while now so I'm going to be giving my thoughts on it and also of course doing a little brow demo in here showing you how I got these fluffy brows with this brow pencil. So thank you so much to NYX Cosmetics for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for continuing to support me and giving me these opportunities because it is really cool to partner with them. Uh, other than that though if you want to see how I got this super affordable makeup look using your drugstore picks why don't we go ahead and get started hello okay let's jump into it we probably all know the drill by now I have allergies don't make fun of my eyes don't make fun of my nose don't make fun of my voice it's allergy season okay that's all I need to say I think I'm gonna start off with my face so I'm gonna try a couple products here from Joa Beauty I had a lot of people write in and I had quite a few recommendations for different Joa products but also a lot of people just said the Joa brand in general I have tried out their brand before I've tried a few products from them but I haven't tried these two so I have the blur activator mineral primer and then also the truly yours natural finish foundation drop okay and this is in the shade classic ivory i'm not sure that makes me that makes it sound like i don't think it's gonna work for me but in the bottle it doesn't look too bad so we'll just give this a try uh i saw these run for about nine ten dollars the prices were a little bit varied on um the different websites that i found so i'm just gonna do a little bit of the blurring primer and smooth that on and you can also find joa beauty at cvs they are a k beauty brand oh i feel like my face feels really smooth i will say it feels like it hasn't like quite sunk in all the way like i feel like i need to like keep kind of blending it out with my fingers but i feel like my skin's looking pretty smooth all good there uh i picked up these this uh blender set this is from the creme shop again i had some reviews coming in just or some comments coming in just saying the creme shop so i picked these up this is the next gen blender set and it comes with two different sponges i thought the coloring on them was super fun i actually got these from a tj maxx and it was 4.99 but the creme shop i believe that's also available at cvs and they look to have some pretty affordable prices but i got two sponges for five dollars what so for the foundation it comes in this dropper form so I went and got my sponge wet and I'm just gonna do a few drops on here okay dropper form not not always my favorite sometimes it can take a little bit skin enhancing natural finish foundation perfects your complexion in every way it's hydrating brightening smoothing and accentuating your youthful glow with a flawless finish it's supposed to be lightweight coverage a soft matte finish uh, so let's go ahead and see. Okay, the color might be a little bit too light for me, but that's okay. Actually, as I'm blending it in, the shade match doesn't look as light. I mean, just with the shade name being Classic Ivory, I expected it to be really, really light. I do think it's a, a, a tad lighter than I am right now, but I think that it... I think that it'll work. It's pretty easy to blend out so far. The Crumb Shop sponge is working well. I liked the shape of it. It kind of has the slope over here. I like the light pink color, even though typically it's a little bit harder to clean, but that's okay. It's a little bit more firm. I, I tend to like my sponges. I prefer that they lean on the like softer, squishier side, but as long as it's not like I'm hitting my face with a rock, I, I don't mind. <laughs> have that blended out I would say that I think that it looks pretty natural right now I would say kind of more of a medium coverage I do have a, a few areas of redness that aren't completely covered up but I think that it looks pretty good I would say it's just almost like a little bit heavy between like around here my brow areas sometimes foundations I just feel like can look a little heavy right here 
which I feel like is the case for that one. But so far, so good. I think that that looks pretty nice. It was easy to blend out. Feels lightweight right now. Pretty good. Uh, I will be doing a pinned comment if you want to like see how things hold up throughout the day. I don't know if I'll be able to do a check-in for today, um, which I try to do on first impression videos, but if I am not able to, then I will leave a pinned comment just kind of giving a follow-up after wearing the products for a while. Uh, next up for my concealer, this one is from Neutrogena. A lot of people wrote in saying this one, and I didn't even know that this was available, so I went hunting for it. I found it at Walmart. This is the Radiant Cream Concealer under their Healthy Skin line. I grabbed the shade uh, Light 2. So it just has a standard doe foot on it here. So I'm going to go ahead and add some to my under eyes. I'm just going to use my sponge again to blend it out. So this one is around like $10, $11. Uh, it says, Radiant Skin, it's time for your close-up. The new Healthy Skin Radiant Cream Concealer is the flawless fix to your skin's imperfections. It's a buildable formula to blur the look of fine lines, leaving you with a smooth, creaseless finish. Okay. Add that to my eyelids to act as my primer. Okay, easy to blend out. Shade match looks good so far on the brightening side also oh okay that does look really nice it looks really smooth easy to blend out doesn't look too heavy oh okay wow that's a nice one okay well and it yeah it's brightening Ooh. okay uh happy about that thanks for the recommendations there i'm gonna add just a little bit to the areas that i want to conceal it's uh, I don't hopefully it won't be too light because if your concealer is too light You don't want to do this with it because it, then it can actually Highlight it and enhance it which is like the opposite of what you want to do but I feel like it'll be okay for my powder i have this one from catrice this is the nude illusion loose powder and this is in transparent i'm just gonna add some to the sponge i am liking the sponge the more i use it too i like it it got nice and big and then i'm gonna press that in on my face also for the powder it's getting kind of hard to get powder out i'm putting the lid on it and shaking it and not really much is happening so sometimes it's like good and bad with these types of powders because sometimes it helps from making a mess but then other times it's really hard to get the rest of the powder out i'm gonna move over to my brows next before i keep going with my face so thank you to nyx cosmetics for sponsoring this portion of the video i'm going to be using their fill and fluff brow pencil i picked this up from target first and i grabbed the shade taupe i now have a backup which i'm really excited about for working with nyx with this video because i really do like this brow pencil so you have a micro paddle brush on one side for fluffing the brows or blending them out and then for the actual brow pencil you have a teardrop shape here and I really do like this one I've seen this style of brow pencil before the one from NYX runs for about $11 which I thought was a really great price but I like the brow pencil on this one because I felt like it was really easy to do my brows I wasn't having to like pull or tug too much they still looked really natural you got some good color payoff without having to like really press down like really firmly into the brows and I felt like it was a good combination of um, being waxy but not I don't like something if it's like too overly waxy and I feel like I can't quite get my brows in the right positioning uh, if it's that way. And so I felt like this one was a really good balance. So I've been wearing this one quite a bit. I always link out the makeup that I'm wearing in my description box and you've been seeing this one from NYX for quite a while because uh, I was really happy when I purchased it. So to read a little bit about it, I love that it says this is the boyfriend gene of the eyebrow world. It's supposed to be good for an easy, full, bushy brow. It has the retractable pomade pencil with a teardrop shaped bullet to shape and fill. Features the paddle brush to style and fluff and suitable for all brow shapes and sizes and also NYX Cosmetics is cruelty free. So what I like to do first is start to push my brows into the positioning that I want them to be. And then I'm going to start underneath and start to sketch out the line that I want. See so if you can see it's 
it's really pigmented off the bat taupe works fantastic for me you know sometimes with brow pencils when you're buying them in a store or online it's kind of hard to like tell which shade might be the best for you but taupe is usually one that works well for me um so i'm happy that the shade worked well so i added that line underneath and then i'm just gonna go ahead and start to fill it in I will say that this did make doing brows really fast and easy. And then when I get to the front of my brow, I'm just going to bring that line out just a little bit. And turn the brow pencil sideways and start to flick that up to create the hair-like strokes. And then I'm just going to use the brush side to blend that out. And that's it super easy to do so we have one brow done one brow not so done so i'm just gonna go ahead and do the same on the other side obviously but again for the days that i want something just a little bit quicker and something a little bit fuller i have pretty defined brows like regardless this one is my less defined brow like i have less hair on this side but sometimes it's nice to use something like this because it just kind of i follow along the shape and then just fill in the areas where it's a little bit more sparse. I like that I really, I think I mentioned this, but that I don't have to press down. You can just use such a light hand to fill them in and it looks super natural without like going overboard. That's it for brows. Again, super fast, super easy to use. Uh, I'm not always the best with brows and sometimes I can get a little bit intimidated, but I found this one to be really user friendly for me and I like how fast it was to do it and kind of how fluffy they look. I think that that's a really fun look also. I'm glad that I found this one too because with brow pencils, I do tend to lean more towards high end for the pencils that I really enjoy or I keep going back to repurchase. So I'm really glad that I have this one from NYX Cosmetics and that I enjoy it so much because this is one that I will continue want to want to keep in my collection. And again, thank you to NYX Cosmetics for sponsoring this portion of the video because it was really fun to share with you that new brow pencil. Of course, everything is going to be linked in my description box also. But let's go ahead. Let's keep moving on. I'm going to go back over to my face and for my bronzer. Okay. A lot of people recommended this bronzer to me, and I'm not mad about it. This is from L'Oreal. This is the Bronze Please. This is a large bronzer, first of all. Okay, so this is the La Terra Sun Powder for Face and Body. I got this one, again, from Walmart. A couple of the shades were actually sold out, so I end up, ended up getting 01, which I still feel like will work for me right now but a lot of people were recommending this i thought about grabbing it was like their paradise bronzer i've been eyeing that one for a while i think this one is a little bit newer than that and this is i was seeing both of those recommended but i think i was seeing this one a little bit more so that's what i decided to grab like really lovely bronzer i, I like that a lot so i'm just gonna go ahead and start to add this to my cheekbones. I feel like this color will work for me. It's almost just a little bit light right now, but honestly not too like not too much, not too bad. I feel like it's looking really smooth though. Mmm. Mmm. Add a little bit to my forehead also. So far so good on the bronzer. Okay. I'm liking that one so far. It was really easy to blend out, not patchy at all. Ooh, okay, thank you for the recommendations on this one. Moving on to blush. So I'm gonna have some products coming up here from Lottie London. This is a brand that I saw get recommended quite a bit through my Instagram, and I haven't tried anything from the brand yet, but I got uh, two different blushes here. So we have, these are powder blushes. We have Zach and also Drake. Both look really pretty. I think I'm going to go with the lighter one though. This one is in Drake. Or maybe I'll mix the two. Uh, maybe mixing them will be fun. Um, the compacts look nice. They have little mirrors and these. So uh, again, I've seen kind of a variety of different prices, but I saw them listed at some places for only $3, which is crazy affordable. I see some Lottie London products available in Ulta Beauty also. Uh, so this says it's an easily blendable powder inspired by your favorite male celeb crushes. Achieve perfectly pinched cheeks worthy of any selfie queen. It's supposed to be long lasting shades to intensify your rosy glow. So coming into Drake first, I'm going to pop that on oh okay okay let me do a little bit of Zach also just to see 
I was wondering if this one would be too dark. Oh, okay, so that definitely adds some oomph to it, but, but it's pretty. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of mix these two together. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Might have gone a little bit heavy on this side, but that's okay. That's all right. I tend to try not to freak out when I first apply blush and it's a little bit heavy because, you know, it can kind of be one of the first things to fade, so I'm not gonna panic. Nobody panic. I'm not panicking. <laughs> okay, so far so good on the blushes. Definitely curious to see how they hold up, how the wear time is on these. And then I have another product from Lottie London. This is their Diamond Bounce Illuminating Highlighter. Okay, then this looks this looks pretty intense. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about it. It's very, very sparkly. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is like very, very sparkly. I'm curious if it's a lot of glitter or not, but um, we'll, we'll just go ahead and give this one a try, see what we think. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, oh, okay, all right, okay. I think this one is gonna be a little bit too much of a glittery highlight for me. It looks pretty glittery. I mean, you definitely only need a tiny bit of product and you're gonna, you're gonna get like a wabam look. I actually kind of, like, it's, I just don't prefer glittery, hi glittery highlights for myself. I like beaming highlights though. And this one is still beaming and it kind of looks a little bit more wet, which I don't mind. Hmm, okay. I kind of have like conflicting feeling towards this one, but I mean, bam. All right. All right, before I move over to my eyes, since my face is done, I am gonna go ahead and spray my face. A lot of you were also recommending to try some Koki. I have tried Koki Cosmetics in the past, and but this one I haven't tried yet. This is their Fix It Up Matte Setting Spray. It's supposed to be their long-lasting setting spray. I saw this for about $8 online. So let's check the spray. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna position it a little bit farther from my face and give it some good sprays here. I really don't mind that. Okay. It's nice and lightweight. It wasn't too aggressive. I kind of thought when I sprayed it the first time that it might seem a little too like, ah, but that really didn't seem too aggressive. Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. I have another setting spray to add to my collection to test out, uh, but that is it for my face. So let's go ahead and move on to the eyes. Back to do the eyes. I did take a lunch break and I had some chicken parm for lunch. So hopefully you cannot see chicken parm on me, but the show must go on. Okay, so for my eyes, I have a couple different products. I obviously started on one eye. I just wanted to kind of get an idea here. But for my palette, I'm going to be using this one from Catrice Cosmetics. This is Self Made Bay. All right. So this one I saw available at Ulta Beauty, and it is about $15. I feel like this one is a little bit more of a fall palette with some of these, like, burgundy tones and the first shade I'm going to pick up is Empire with a blending brush this matte one right here so I'm gonna start with this palette but then I also have a single shadow that I want to use that I think was the most requested product that came in through my Instagram for this video so many people recommended this single shadow so I'm just going to start to do a little something something with these shadows and then finish it off and show you what I'm talking about. It's just so mysterious, I know. And then coming into the shade Boss with another blending brush, tap this one on the outer part of my eye. I'm just going to blend that out, blend those two together, come back with a little bit more Empire. All right, the single shadow that I was talking about is from Essence. This is one of their melted chrome eyeshadows. Seriously? <laughs> uh, this was one of the first things I bought for this video because I was like, what is happening? Everyone is recommending these. I, I don't know if I've been living under a rock, but I feel like I haven't really heard people talking about this or using this a lot. Okay. Um, I got the shade Zinc About You. I grabbed... Okay, wait, what? 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 That looks um, stunningly beautiful. Okay, 
All right, these were like five dollars I think I got mine from a CVS and I saw where they were and a bunch of the different shades were sold out I think the shade will do well. I, I mean, I really like these tones of course And I just couldn't believe how many people were writing in about this one I was like, all right, I absolutely must try it So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit with a brush first I might come in with my finger kind of depending on how it goes because obviously like <laughs> It did great on my finger. I just don't love using my fingers to apply and I'm gonna start to pat it onto my lid all right i feel like it's going okay with the brush but i feel like my finger is going to be better even though i don't love this but it's fine so i'm just going to go ahead and add some on with my finger here wow what look at the sam squad is just not steering me wrong dang huh i might need to get some more of these feels like a creamy formula like when I swatch it I still like I cannot get over that what the heck feels nice and creamy so I was, was kind of wondering if my finger would work better with it but wow that is pretty darn impressive big win big win for that and it was super like fast and easy to use I'm just gonna come back with a little bit more boss and kind of blend that out. I mean, I love pinky shades. I know I wear them a lot, but it's because I love them and I like to do and wear things that I love and enjoy. I feel like that makes sense, but I'm just going to blend out these shadows a little bit more. Now I'm using Empire. Wow. Wow, I'm digging this. I'm digging this eye look right now. Mm -hmm. Liner, this is from Koki Cosmetics. This is their deep, deepest black velvet smooth eyeliner. I'm just going to add this to my waterline. Oh, this eyeliner is really nice. That was really smooth. Wow, I mean, it says velvet smooth. That was true. That was a nice eyeliner. Hey, oh. Okay, so coming back into the palette, I think I'm just going to mix those two mattes that I was using again on a pencil brush and add that to my lash line. I'm going to add in a little bit of equal pay here at the bottom just to bring a little brown to the lash line too because sometimes if I do too much pink it can look a little like pink eye, you know? And then adding hashtag slay. I'm going to add that to my inner corner. Ooh. That's really pretty. And then also my brow bone. Whoa, okay, this shade. I kinda wanna put this one all over my lid too. Wow. Oof, this is impressive. And then just to finish off the eyes, I have this mascara that some of you have said is really darn good. This is from Wet n Wild. This is actually with the Bretman Rock collaboration. This is the Bad B Lift Mascara. Okie dokie then. Okay, so this is what the wand looks like. It's a little bit more curved here. I added two coats of the mascara. I think it definitely did some lengthening work for them, which I do enjoy. See how it wears throughout the day? Again, you can check that pinned comment. And then the last thing I have to do is just my lips. So I'm going to use one of the Koki lip liners. I have used these before and I really do like them. I really do enjoy the shade Dusty Rose. But then I'm also going to use, I picked this one up from Walmart also. This is from Wet n Wild. This is one of their, let me tell you, Mega Last Matte Lipsticks. I got the shade Never Nude. And when I saw these, I was like, wait a second. Like, I don't remember seeing these before. They say that they are a semi-matte, long-wearing lip color. And I'm really curious to try them out because, like I said, I did not know that they were even out there. So going to be trying that one, but first going to line my lips with the Koki. And I'm going to come in and add Never Nude on top. Not mad at this shade. I like that it definitely leans more matte because that is what I prefer. Like I either want matte or glossy, but mm, that looks good. I like that. Okay, excited to see how that wears because that was only $2.99, by the way. <laughs> that was only $2.99. Fantastic. After that, this is today's final look using all drugstore makeup and your recommendations that you wanted me to try out. 
I'm really liking how this came out. I feel, I feel good. I feel good right now. Uh, just running through the products, I feel like the Joel Complexion products worked out well. I'm excited to see how long the foundation holds on for. Uh, definitely the eye products I thought were some standouts with the eyeshadow palette and then also that single shadow. Those performed so well. I really like how the lips are looking. The Lottie London blushes I feel like are still looking really nice and the highlighter. Well, it might not have been like my absolute favorite right off the bat, like still looks good. The L'Oreal bronzer performing well, the mascara looks nice, and then of course the NYX Cosmetics brow pencil. I feel like this was a really successful video, so hey, hey, that's amazing. Thank you so much to everyone who sent in some items that you wanted me to try out and test out. Definitely let me know what you thought about the look in the comments. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or if you'd be interested in picking them up. Another thank you to NYX Cosmetics for sponsoring this video. It was really cool to be able to partner with them on this video and to show you the brow pencil. Thank you guys for continuing to support me to give me these opportunities. It really does mean so much. But other than that, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I will see you in my next video.